welcome to Eat by the Travel. We are Jenny and Kevin, and today we are taking you to the beautiful island of Roatan, Honduras. We came to Roatan via cruise ship. We spent seven days on the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas, and Roatan was stop number one. I know we're first time cruisers, but this experience has been amazing. If you're trying to go outside of the excursions that Royal Caribbean uh, offers, this is the opportunity for you guys to see how to get to the best beach in Roatan and enjoy of a just beach day all day. When you arrive to the town center of Roatan, you have musicians playing, you have a bunch of little bars, stores for souvenirs, and these beautiful art paintings on so the wall. Colorful and lively. I'm excited. Like vacation vibes. Just a few steps from the dock are the kiosks with information and transportation. There are the public beaches that you can easily get to. Within the same ride, you could also choose to go to a resort where you can pay for a chair. The facilities, I believe, it's twenty dollars a day. So I think we're gonna do that just because we came here to beach, relax, have some piña colada. It's about a fifteen-minute drive from the dock to the resort. And then from here, we're gonna take a little car to the beach. Yay! Hey. Muy bien, aquí contenta. Sí. Gracias por traerme aquí para mi cumpleaños. Happy birthday. This resort is called Henry Morgan and it's a hotel with pool. We just saw yoga going on. They've got restaurants, bars, and a private beach. Snorkeling is $55 per person and that's a 45 minute excursion to an underwater aquarium. And you could also take a submarine, which is $45. It's also a 45 minute tour where they have air conditioner and you just plunge into it. And it's cheaper, it's interesting. <laughs> that, might be, that might be too bad. <laughs> Okay. There's a lot to do here, but honestly, we just came for one thing. Trying out the Salvavida, which is a national beer. They said to, if you only have Salvavida, to only stay on Salvavida because they're really strong. And let's see if I agree. Ooh, this beer is refreshing. Especially in this heat. It's kind of like a malt, right? Yeah. It's like a malt, so yeah, you want to stay on this one. Otherwise, you're going to be. Because this is a tourist hub, the prices are more elevated than you know what you might find in the rest of Honduras. But it's not totally unreasonable. Twenty dollars for a bucket of six beers, eight dollars for a piña colada. Um, well, I think what's more expensive are the activities. But all in all, it, you you know you can spend a lot or you can spend a little depending on what you're looking to do. Compared to other beaches, what do you like about this one so far? The water is crystal clear blue. It's gorgeous and it's clean. A lot of Mexican beaches in the Caribbean or on the Cancun area right now are full of sargassum. So that's not very pleasant, not very comfortable, but this beach here in Ratan is clean and beautiful. When we arrived, I was a little bit nervous because it was super cloudy. The ocean looked super like wild. The water was going everywhere, but we got here. So calm. It got calm. The sun came out and it's perfect and I love it. The weather is hot. It is hot. It's humid. That's but hey, what we're here for. Exactly. <laughs> After a beer and a piña colada, I think it's time for us to dip ourselves into the beautiful water. Let's go. According to our taxi driver, another option to get here to the beach is going to the public beach, which uh, you could avoid uh, paying for a resort. But he mentioned that just buying the, the chair itself might be even more expensive. So we decided to come to the resort. Here in the resort though, if you wanna have a little travel hack, you could also go to this little store right here where they sell alcoholic beverages, water, and everything in case you wanna- Cheaper you know. than buying a chair from a restaurant or a resort, so. You know, not everyone's here balling. Some people are just balling on a budget and that's okay too. All right. All right, let's see what they've got. They've got wine, beer, snacks, basic medication, sunscreen, all the essentials here. It's Tequila. a good spot to come. Yeah, it's a good spot. <laughs> Deodorant in space, you forgot anything? If you need something, this little market seems to have it all. Look, even highlighters. Another observation we want y'all to know is that we see a lot of people, like a lot of vendors trying to give you a massage, trying to sell you tours, which is understandable. I don't think it's too much of it. No, it's, it's not overbearing, whereas places like uh, Cartagena, for example, Cartagena, Colombia, we felt that it was very, very like almost uncomfortable. Um, we understand people are trying to sell and make a living, 
but you also want to enjoy and relax on the beach, right? So I, I like here that they offer, but they're not on top of you trying to get you to, right. to buy their service. So it's a nice balance. It's, all right. Oh, we got a live band. vibe the palm trees the fruit trees i love selling. how you can find a, a variety of trees that even some of them are medicinal like noni we saw a noni tree where you can use the actual leaf for headaches you place it on your forehead you know it's getting all the hacks from the locals here went for a walk and it's getting close to noon so that noon high sun is getting strong but this little jungle area is a nice little break from the sun a nice little shade and relaxing walk i love it if i was to come back to roatan i would like to stay at one of these like board house spots because yeah. they seem to have hammocks a very relaxing and they feel cool because uh -huh. of all the green and jungle around Ooh, this looks like a nice place to get lunch and a drink the water it looks like it has different colors you have a different colors of green blue it's amazing look at it. For $10, I'm getting a fresh pineapple and then spiking it with some rum. Mm, on the beach right here, it's gonna be whoo, delicious. Mm. First, they cut out the inside, give you the heart. Rum. Rum. So let's check out this pineapple with rum. It looks super delicious. I already tasted the, the pineapple and it's fresh, but this with the rum, ooh. <laughs> so good, it'll knock you back. That's how I feel. It's delicious. Just be careful, y'all. Be careful. So after all of that, would we say that it's worth it and will we come to Roatan again? Absolutely. I would actually want to be here for a longer time because going to the market and learning that the prices are cheaper in beer, you know, the price yeah, is different you once you outside come of outside the tourist of the trip. Uh, yeah, once you come outside from the cruise, you get a different experience coming by yourself. So we would definitely come back to Roatan, check out the beaches, check out the They're culture, gorgeous. check out the food. The and, service was really nice. Yeah, and you know, just the dances, because for us, it's eat by the travel. We want to check out the local food to see what's good. So we would definitely come back and here. We only got a small taste of all of that. So we look forward to coming back. What, what about you? Are you planning a trip soon? Have you been to Roatan? Let us know in the comments below. Either way, drop an emoji if you made it to the end. Se cuidan, se bañan y nos vemos en la próxima. Ciao.